Central Vietnam is home to three UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the charming town of Hoi An, imperial city of Hue, and historical ruins of Mi Son. Here you'll find some of the most amazing Vietnamese heritage food, some only available in this region, like this bowl of Khao Lao, as well as national street food favorites like banh mi. Banh mi refers to the popular sandwich introduced during French colonial times. A French baguette is filled with liver pâté, pork, ham, cheese, mayonnaise, special dressing, herbs and veggies like cucumber, pickled carrots, and daikon, and sometimes even an egg. So we managed to get our hands on the famous banh mi phong banh mi. It's supposed to be internationally known as the best banh mi in Vietnam. We had someone go and stand in line for us because it's supposed to be really popular, and I didn't want to stand in line. So here we go, and we're enjoying it by the river here in Hoi An. Let's give it a try. I don't know what's in there, but it's really good. For a unique farm-to-table experience, I head to the Banyan Tree Lanco Resort in Lanco Bay, between the mountains and the South China Sea, or EC, as it's known here. Food served at the restaurants is sourced locally, or grown on this organic farm which serves as a training ground for local farmers to learn about sustainable practices and a platform for selling their produce. We are doing things in a way where we are supporting the, not only the local society, but also the whole environment. As a chef that takes like pride of cooking food, we always say we always cook the best food if you have fresh ingredients. Yes. And it's true. If you look around here, what we have is beautiful. We want to be a part of that. We want to maintain the beauty of the place. But we also need to make sure that we, of course, are running a business. For example, we have farmers, local farmers, coming here. We invite them here mm -hmm. and we show them new things. We show them a different way to do things mm -hmm. that they've done for a long time. And again, we don't tell them they have to do it. But we want to give something back to the society here. The farm is self-sustaining with an innovative way for recycling unused food. Last year, we actually uh, we went to north of Vietnam. We talked to some colleagues. We actually hand carried some worms back. And when I say to, to people we carry worms back, they look at me and they laugh and say, "What? You have plenty of worms here." That's true. But we have to make a worm farm where we actually uh, are using our leftover food in our kitchens. We're using that as a compost. The worms produce up to 10 liters of fertilizer every third day which helps to grow various herbs and vegetables used in traditional Vietnamese cuisine. A third of the produce used at the resort is grown here. You should say Central Vietnam is, is very much built on food with the flavor of lemongrass. We have made a lot of ranks of lemongrass. We have the fresh lettuce. We have the Vietnamese mint and basil. There is somehow a very different in taste from the European and Italian basil and mint. It's a little bit more sweet, it's a little bit smaller, but and it's used in, in all, basically, all the salads and, and, and food in Vietnam. Uh, many people will say that Vietnamese cuisine is easy. It's not. It's just as difficult as, as, as Chinese, as Danish and, and German cuisine. But I think what you have in Vietnamese cuisine is the focus of freshness, flavors. And I've been working in, in seven different countries, and I don't think that where you really in any of the countries where you're really working with salads, where it's really, really that freshness of herbs, spices come to play. <laughs> Local goats, rabbits, chickens, and ducks live here, offering a small petting zoo for little ones. Chef Anners hopes to eventually add a fish farm. Guests are invited to visit, pick ingredients, and learn how to cook Vietnamese heritage food, which is what I did with Vietnamese specialist chef Lee. We start with Vietnamese fresh spring rolls, or goi kun tam. We pick Vietnamese mint, basil, and lettuce. How, do, how can I tell if they're ready to be cut? This, you, this you, looks you, kind you of see, young. Yeah, see? this is very young. You yeah. see, you see like this. When the leaves are, yeah, are big, right? The leaves are big, right? yeah, one, okay. yes. So I'll, I'll move in a little bit further, because these <laughs> leaves are, are much more mature. We peel and wash prawns, put them on skewers, and boil them. 
Then we slice the mango, carrots, and cucumber. Okay, I just cut myself. Of course I did, oh. yes I did. I'm okay. A slight setback, oh, but I I'm survived. All right. I'm all right. We arrange all the ingredients and roll up the spring rolls. Next, we pick lemongrass and lot leaf for our next dish, bonyong la lot. That means grilled beef rolled in lot leaf or wild beetle leaf. We use two hands. Two, two hands, hands here. Two hands. Oh! oh. Yes. yes! But when you swim like this. Ooh, very nice. I love the smell. This, this is okay. That's okay. This one's okay? Yeah. Okay, this one's so I'll okay. pick this one. It's nice. It's very, um, what do you call it? Almost wax like. Mm. Very thick. Right? Grilled beef marinated. that's been marinated in shallots, lemongrass, garlic, fish sauce, oyster sauce, salt, and sugar. Okay, so a handful of the meat. Yes. And this is local beef as well from the one local of the beef. Yes. farms here. Yes. And then just roll it up. Just roll it up. has told yes. me that this is a very popular street food, so I've brought the local beer, Huda, to enjoy with the meal. Yeah. Okay, so we have some, uh, the barbecue is done. And yes. what do we do now? I will show you how to eat this. Okay. Yeah. It has the lettuce. Okay. With the leaf. Okay. A little bit. Carrot. Mint. You wrong. It's like a roll if, if within want, a roll. If you want oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Mm. Very good spicy. Hmm. And then I wash it down with the beer? Yeah. Like the locals do? Yes. <laughs> and this beer is actually for this region, or yeah. the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's my from Hue City. The next dish is the traditional street food in Vietnam. Bánh tráng nước. Bánh tráng nước. Yes. Okay. It comes from the southern of Vietnam. So you're essentially frying the rice paper. Yeah. Grilling it the with paper. the egg on top. Yes. We make what some call a Vietnamese pizza using rice paper, egg, dried beef, and spring onion. Mmm. Way better than crackers. Beef is really good. It's kind of unassuming at first, and then all of a sudden it punches you in the throat. That's so good. Chef Lee, this was wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing your cuisine with us. Vietnamese heritage food. From organic farm to table. Done sustainably. A concept this resort hopes will catch on. <laughs>